hey everyone i hope you all are doing great so uh, i'm going to start a tutorial series in this tutorial series we are going to learn full stack blockchain development or web3 development uh, in this course we are going to create front end we are going to create back end and <clears throat> we are going to connect the back end with the blockchain network and the smart contracts which resides on the blockchain now uh, we have this front end and we can directly communicate with the blockchain network through metamask uh, uh, browser integration now, or we can actually send requests from front end to back end and the back end consequently send the request to the blockchain network to write or retrieve the data from the blockchain and then there is database like this is optional we can use blockchain as a database layer uh, you can consider it as a MERN stack where we will have a backend in Express. We have a front end. Uh, it can be either vanilla JavaScript or it can be React.js. And then we have a blockchain network. Uh, in this course, we are specifically targeting Ethereum based blockchains. Uh, it can be Polygon, Ethereum, or EnergyWeb, or like any blockchain uh, where <clears throat> uh, the main virtual machine is Ethereum virtual machine. And these smart contracts, they will reside on the blockchain, and we are going to uh, put the smart contract address and ABI in the back end and in the front end to communicate with the blockchain network so uh, in the next video we are going to write our first smart contract for the full stack uh, blockchain development uh, so let's move to the next video thank you very much okay so in this tutorial we are going to create an application a decentralized application uh, the to-do application uh, basically in uh, some tutorials on YouTube you must have seen that this to-do application has been uh, created with the database let's say MongoDB or SQL but here we are creating this application with the blockchain network as a storage layer so any task you write here it will directly go and save in the smart contract and then we have list task here and then we have this mark task as finished because the task is either pending or finished so we can actually mark it finished here so let's see uh, if we click on list buy orders it says to us that please connect metamask so let's connect metamask so we have this extension here this 2bb address it's connected now let's list buy orders because there is no order so let's add some order let's say buy x and add task let's wait for it to to be written in the smart contract um, yeah so it's written and let's say watch youtube youtube let's add it and wait for it uh, wait for the confirmation time till it's written in the blockchain network in the smart contract okay so it's written so now let's come here again we get the error let's connect metamask and then list orders so we have this buy egg and watch youtube now these task status are pending so what we can do is we can go here okay uh, so we have these ids of 0 and 1 so let's say we uh, we have watched youtube already so we want to make this task as finished so let's go here the id of youtube is 1 so let's do this change task status so now again it's going to write in the smart contract and it will take some time and the task status has been changed so let's go here connect metamask and list buy orders so we can see it's still pending but it is finished so basically what we are doing is we have created a full stack web application where we have this front end and we have a back end written in express.js which is communicating with the blockchain network and then we have a front end and this front end we have a javascript vanilla javascript file uh, where we are connecting the metamask and then we are directly communicating with the blockchain network without any backend server so basically this is the application and we are going to develop this application in this tutorial series so uh, let's start with the smart contract